Hey everyone, this is Jason again from Lance's Tops and Auto Upholstery. Uh, I'm going to be sewing up another uh, motorcycle seat. This time it is a uh, cafe racer seat. Uh, we manufacture these for Dime City, as a matter of fact. I don't know if you've heard of them, but if you haven't, go on Instagram and check out the, uh, their, uh, goodness, that company. Um, what I've got here is a, I actually sewed one pleat and then I thought, I'm going to make a video. Um, but this one is actually going to be made out of leather. I have some photos and some videos that I'll probably have before this uh, showing the process of cutting it out, getting it drawn up, um, and then in the sewing room getting ready to sew. Um, but as you can see here, I've got my pleats and uh, I'm going to get ready to sew here. So yeah, Lance might pop in, say hi. Uh, Rudy p might pop in, drop off some more patterns, but uh, we'll see. All right, let's go for it. Somebody was asking me in the last video that I posted what kind of machine this was. It is not a right-handed machine because I had my camera flip. Now it shouldn't be flipped. You should be viewing this video as it is recorded in normal, real life, without left-handed machines. <laughs> but this is a Dookie 1541S. Single stitch walking foot. Very nice machine for sure. pleats put in here we're using a thread called toast <laughs> I like it matches this leather really well for those of you who have been doing this for a while you know how it works when you're sewing pleats you want to sew your pleats all from the same way going this way so as I sew more of these you'll see me fold this in and keep pushing it into the machine because if you don't, when you turn it around, you might run into an issue uh, with your tension to where it'll like uh, banana your your material. So if I went like this and started sewing from this way now, it might end up a little funky. So to make sure that doesn't happen, you just sew from one side, fold in your pleats. Don't don't fold in this way because you don't want wrinkles. You want to fold out. Pleats sewn. As you can see, there's still another line on it, kind of showing what the insert's supposed to look like. And I'm gonna see it a little bit so I can see my my hair. <laughs>
All right, we have ourselves our insert. Gosh, that leather is soft. All right, what's next? Oh yeah, <laughs> no, I knew what's next. So I've got my two rear pieces. So I'm gonna sew this piece to the top of this piece here. And that's gonna be our first skirt that goes around. You'll see, you'll see. Don't you worry. Don't you worry a little hard out. <laughs> uh, don't have any silicone spray it looks like. That's all right, that should be fine. I like to use silicone spray on the uh, on the machine here when I'm using leather, so that way it slides a little easier. But obviously, you don't want it on the foot of the machine because then it won't walk. <laughs> What's nice is there's two of these machines. Or I mean, two of these seats to do today, so I will do a time lapse as well for those of you who do not want to watch all of this <laughs> but uh here we go i can start from one end and go to the other i sew in three eighths of an inch normally like on vinyl or cloth but when it comes to leather i sew in a little bit further i don't want to call it a half an inch but i'm sure it is all about a half an inch and that would be because when you fold the leather to do a top stitch, it's thicker. So you need just a little bit more to put a nice top stitch on there without falling off the material on the back side. And if you are watching this video and you're gonna watch it all the way through, please let me know because I would love to start making more of these videos. I just want to know that people are interested even in watching this. Because if you are, and there are people that want to watch it, I will create a Lance's Tops Auto Upholstery um, YouTube channel. And then you can see what Lance does as well. He's not usually into taking photos and videos. Um, I'm the millennial here, so. Um, but we do a lot here, and um, we do a lot of crazy, crazy work on some really custom vehicles. So I'll get it going if you guys like it. So, like I said, you want to make sure there's a little extra material on the back side for this top stitch. And again, this this foot, uh, this machine, we keep a welt foot on here, so that way we don't have to keep switching back and forth because we do a lot of work with welt cord and also it's a good gauge as your top stitch an average top stitch fits right in between where the round part is of the welt foot if you look i think i mentioned this last time if you look at the welt foot there's a there's a middle point and that middle point is where i put the blind stitch and that's where i follow that way if you don't have a guide foot with one of those like guide spring feet on there then you're you're still a-okay i'm sure that a lot of you guys know about that that's a that's an old trick. Just things I've learned off of Lance along the way, of course. And then uh, to the video. You want to say hi to everyone? No, you don't. <laughs> Thank you. Rudy says hi, even though he doesn't say hi. Again, everyone's not very photo and video friendly around here, which is okay. <laughs> Make sure I'm not in that video later, please. Yeah, yeah. Right, I got my top stitch on there, as you can see. I guess I didn't need to sew in exactly that far, but it's always good to make sure. There's a very nice top stitch across it. I don't know if it's going to focus or not. And then this is going to go around this. Everything starts in the front and everything is marked and everything's been tested and true to the point where I almost don't even need to think about it. But these marks is nice. 
And I have to thank Glenn for that one because he has made sure that we have the correct patterns. <laughs> it's always a plus. So it looks like this one's exactly perfect in size. So I don't need to stretch or pull. I just need to literally lay it where it wants to go. And so. funny what I said there I don't want to pull or stretch but even even though I say that you always want to give it some sort of tension you don't want it to just be a floppy piece of material hanging out doing whatever the hell it wants during these videos, I notice that I get quiet because I'm focusing. <laughs> See? Land right at the end there. Almost like you don't even need to know what's going If you can sew a straight line, you can do this. It is not fun. Now the other ones that I showed you guys, <laughs> ones where they don't have a skirt that starts at one end and goes around the other where you have to sew around and stop. Oh, those are hard. <laughs> those are hard. It took me a very long time to learn. Alright, got that on there. And now I have to do top stitch. stitch on the first skirt. I say the first skirt because there is a second vinyl skirt that goes around the bottom and uh, that actually gets a top stitch and that's where we know where to sew. So what's next is the front portion that's on the front of the pan. Now with this I do like to just take the center mark and I line it up even though, yes, I can start at the end and work my way around, I just like to make sure. And as a matter of fact, I'm incorrect. The vinyl piece gets sewn on first. So, with that being said, there is a piece right here with a line that gets a top stitch. Not necessarily a top stitch, fold and sew because that's where, that's where it gets stapled. Even though we like to do things really nice around here, this is one of those spots where if you can go fast, save some time and money, go fast. 
Eliminate the pan, get stapled down. Of course, we all take pride in our work, but you gotta find those spots in your work that you can speed up. Because the faster you can do these, the more money you make, obviously. Special announcement too, by the way. We are actually getting a new logo. Lance's Tops will still be called Lance's Tops, but the logo will be changed. Nice little 2020 facelift. Lance recently got himself a new Corvette, C8 Stingray, and uh, it's always had cars. You know, different cars, the Mustangs. He had a Mustang for a long time that he built. He always, has, he always has his cars. Thanks for ruining my video notification. He always has a, some sort of car on there that says Lance's Tops and Auto Upholstery. But he's got he's getting the C8 on there, so we'll see that very soon. Um, I am not wearing a Lance's Top shirt, actually, if you see here that it's a Donald Trump bust. But that is because this is from the guys over at Richmond in Texas. If you're watching, what's up guys? All right, so now I saw this last skirt piece on here. And again, this is one of them pieces that you really, really don't need to. It needs to be sewn at the edge, basically. sure of is that this piece ends up in the middle so you just want to make sure boom 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 right there want to say boom with me boom See, even right there I almost messed up it started sliding the leather wasn't moving the vinyl was moving so it almost went down there it's a good thing that this vinyl is stretching and i'm still coming up just a little bit short so i want to Hold just a little bit and it won't mess it up because again this is fold all the way underneath the pan and then stapled. So it's coming up like an eighth of an inch short, but that's okay. Why is it not a problem? Because I'm gonna sew across there anyway. And put a top stitch on that piece. <laughs> lots of top. Lots and lots of top. wondering what that noise is that oh, oh. Oof, that was a little louder than normal but yeah that noise that's me just pressing on a brake and it's just a metal and metal thing down here probably could put some sort of rubber stopper on there but it doesn't bother anybody until you watch a video and then you hear it a million times you're like what the heck is that Good thing I don't have to go out and help this time. I'm, I'm in the cellar room. <laughs> Alrighty. Now I can put this piece on. Now that piece goes in the front, like I was saying. 
And what I like to do is find the middle mark and slowly turn it to where it would be sewn. And then sew just like that. This is important because this last pleat has additional for sewing. So I need to make sure that I sew across this perfectly so that way it looks like it's a finished pleat. And that's the whole point, is a finished pleat. So even though there's a little bit of a curve at the end, I want to roll that curve in. And once it gets to that blind stitch, that's when I can finish off the rest here. that is even though I did that I could have started at the end it looks like and came around even though it doesn't matter it's all the way at the end I still like things to be very very symmetrical and then typically we would put a top stitch on the front of these we do with the vinyl but um, we do not with the leather at least I don't think so. <laughs> I haven't done a leather one in a long time. So I'm just going off what I remember. Um, if we do, sorry Lance, I forgot, but I will put one on here if so. I do have another seat to do. This one is technically brown, but it is darker, it's almost gray. So I'm going to do a time lapse with this one, so that way those of you who do not want to watch the entire video you can still see me sew, uh, you know, this whole thing together in like 30 seconds. <laughs> Thanks, and again, if you do like these videos, um, let me know in the comments because I will make a lot more. We'll start a channel, we can do like fun things on there, like what color should I use next or something. So.